Hi everyone, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. I'm Filippo and I'm a technical educator at the Web3 Foundation. Today we're going to talk about the multi-signature accounts and how we can uh, do advanced transfers using the Polkadot.js user interface. This tutorial is for advanced users. If you wish to perform multi-signature transactions easily with the Polkadot.js user interface, I recommend you the video in the link below using the accounts tab. What we're going to do today is to use the advanced feature in the Polkadot.js user interface to first submit a multi-signature transfer call from Alice to the multi-signature account ABC. And this call contains a balance transfer call of one West End token from ABC to Dan. Let's go to the Polkadot.js user interface. Under the developer tab, extrinsic, we select Alice, we select the multisig palette, the asmulti extrinsic, the threshold is 2 for this ABC multi-signature. We need to specify this, the other signatories, Bob and Charlie. And then we need information about the balance transfer call from ABC to Dan. How do we find this? The easiest way is to open another tab. We select ABC, balance transfer palette. We want a transfer keep alive. We want to transfer to Dan. The value is in Planck and this corresponds to one Western token. So what we need to do now is to copy the encoded call data, go back here and uh, paste it. And we can submit this transaction using Alice account. If we go to the accounts tab, we can see this icon and uh, we can click and see and view the pending approvals. So Alice is the depositor. There is one existing pending approval and uh, we need the second approval. So we have two ways now of um, continue this transaction. One way is to just um, approve this, um, this multi-signature transaction and actually transfer the funds from ABC to Dan using the as multi extrinsic. So this multi-signature account has a threshold of two. We need just two approvals but we can actually use all the three signatories and Bob can just pass on to Charlie the final actual approval. So he doesn't have the responsibility like to, to, to do this um, transfer. We will uh, do this hard way so that uh, we can see the whole process. We will use Bob to pass on and uh, just uh, sign, but without actually transferring the money from ABC to Dan. We go back to the, um, to the Extrinsic tab, always under Develop Extrinsic. Now we use Bob account, multi-signature and um, the multi-sig palette, and we use the Approve as Multi. We have always to specify the threshold of two and the other signatories, Alice and Charlie. We need to insert the time point of the first approval. So we need to, the information about uh, the block where this um, approval is on the blockchain. And we also need the call hash, which is basically the information about the balance transfer from ABC to Dan. So the call hash, this is, the, um, this is easy. We already have it here. We need just to copy and, um, and paste it. But uh, for the information about um, the time point, we need first to copy Alice's address, which is the depositor of the first uh, call. Then we need to go to a block explorer and uh, paste the address. And we can see here two minutes ago, Alice submitted the multi-signature transaction 
and we need this information, the extrinsic ID. The first big number is the block, and uh, the small number after that is the index. We just copy this. We go back here. We paste it. The index is 2. And um, we can submit these transactions, this transaction, using Bob. If we go back to the Accounts tab, the transaction is still pending. We can see now we have two approvals, Alice and Bob. So we can now use Charlie to do this final approval of the, um, of the transfer from ABC to Dan. What we need to do, we go back to the, um, the Polkadot.js user interface under the, um, the Developer tab, Extrinsic. We select Charlie. We need um, always to select the multi-signature palette as multi. The threshold is two. Now we need to select the, the other signatories again, which is uh, which are Alice and Bob. And um, we need here the block time again and the call. So we go back here. We we basically copy the encoded encoded call data. We go back. We paste it. Then we go to the um, to the block explorer so we need to copy the block and the index and we need to paste it here and we need also information about the weight and the weight basically is um, how much we want to pay maximum for the computation that is necessary to perform this transaction on the Polkadot blockchain so we go, in order to know which number we can insert there, we can go back to a block explorer and uh, we can um, select some transaction here and we see here the weight. We can copy this weight, for example. We go back, we paste it here and uh, we are good to go. We can submit and sign using Charlie account. All right. If you go back to the Accounts tab, we can see we sent one West End token from ABC to Dan. To sum up, what we did is uh, first Alice submitted the multi-signature call to ABC using AsMulti. And uh, this call contained um, the balance transfer call of uh, one West End token from ABC to Dan. Then Bob passed on to Charlie um, this, uh, this call and Charlie gave final approval using the AsMulti and uh, actually sent the West, one West End token from ABC to Dan. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, see you in the next one.